Hi guys, this is Jazz from Jazz Truck Driving School. So today we'll be doing the uncoupling and coupling according to the MELT program that came in effect in 2017. So let's do step by step. So here we go. So the very first thing before you even start your uncoupling and coupling, right? There are three things that you want to make sure that's done inside first. So first is to make sure your parking brakes are pulled out. So your tractor and trailer parking brakes are on. Make sure your transmission is on neutral and your engine is off okay so these are the three things you tell the examiner before you leave from your inside inspection okay so once your inside inspection is done you come in out you let him know my parking brakes are on both of them my transmission is on neutral my engine's off sir and then you come outside and make sure you check your wheel chocks are there which they are so both the wheel chocks one in the front one at the back so make sure the wheels are chalked and make sure you let the examiner know that my uh, tractor trailer is on the level ground surface and the ground is secure okay so these are the five things that you must make sure you mention that so the very first thing that we got to do for the coupling and coupling after you mention those five things is your lower the landing gear okay so you get your uh, landing gear here okay put on the high gear and then you go all the way down okay. so once it touches the ground from the both sides okay and then just go a couple of rounds more and then you put it so that's the first thing make sure your landing is down from, from the both sides of the trailer and then what you need to do is you can either uncouple the the trailer airlines or you can actually un, um, unhook your fifth wheel handle from there okay so whichever way it doesn't matter so let's say I take this airline out first my supply and my service and okay and then you go and grab your fifth wheel puller uh, there you go So stick it right in there and try to pull it out. My fifth wheel handle is in unlocked position right now. To confirm it, I need to go under the trailer to make sure my jaws are unlocked. Yes, so my jaws are unlocked now. And then your airlines are already disconnected. And then you tell the examiner, sir, now I need to pull the truck forward until my fifth wheel comes out from the trailer make sure the whole fifth wheel assembly is out of the trailer and then make sure you stop and come outside to recheck everything okay so I'm gonna go inside the truck okay let's start the engine all right so only release the tractor brakes, okay? So if you push the red one by mistake, what's gonna happen is you're gonna open the, your TPV valve, which is your tractor protection valve, which is gonna leak the air out of your supply line, which you really don't wanna lose it because you're only uncoupling the tractor, okay? So only release the yellow brake, which is the tractor spring brake control valve, put on drive, try to go forward, okay? So go slowly, slowly until your fifth wheel is out of the trailer. Make sure the whole assembly is out. Okay. And then you put on neutral. Make sure you put the parking brakes on because if you don't put the parking brakes on and you step outside of the truck, what's going to happen is the examiner is going to come inside and he's going to close that valve and that would be a um, terminate of the test right away okay so make sure your parking brakes are on you come outside and my fifth wheel they both are separated okay my trailer is stable on the landing gear so it's secure on the landing gear it's not falling anywhere and then you tell the examiner that I'm gonna make a 90 degree angle or the examiner will tell you to, to so either they can make you turn left or turn right okay depending on whichever side they want you to do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a left turn from here okay again only release the tractor brakes just go forward and then you're going to start turning to the left according to his instructions and then make sure you straight up your wheels and then you put it on neutral brakes on and then you come outside with your four ways on 
Okay. Make sure your floor is on, your parking brakes are on. And grab your gloves. And the very first thing that we airline test. Okay. So to do the airline, you're going to grab your electric line, your supply, and you're going to check all the good shape. Okay. No crack. All right. This line here. So you check the service line to make sure the The line looks good. Good. No crack. Good. No debris inside. Everything looks good. And all the airline on this side, make sure you touch them and say it's all looking good. No crack, no damage. Okay. And then you have to check your fifth wheel frame here. Okay. So my fifth wheel frame, sir, no crack, no damage. Okay. So you make sure you touch the frame. My fifth wheel frame, no crack, no damage. Okay, all the fasteners are tight and secure on the coupler. Okay, make sure fifth wheel handle is in unlocked position. Okay, there's enough grease on the fifth wheel and it tilts up and down. Okay, then you come right at the back, check for your four wheels to make sure the four wheels are working. Your tie rod, your differential, your brake chamber, your air lines, your drive shaft, make sure all of them are looking good. Airbags looking good, no crack, no damage. And then you do the same thing on this side of the truck. My fifth wheel frame, no crack, no damage. All the fasteners are tight and secure, okay? And again, there's enough grease on the uh, fifth wheel. And then you tell the examiner, sir, my way is clear, okay? There's no obstruction and I'm ready to back up, okay? And then you go inside the truck. Go inside the truck, and you put the city horn, you put on reverse, release again only the tractor brakes and then you start backing up, okay? So you release the yellow brake again, which is your tractor spring brake control valve, okay? Keep your four wheels on, okay? And then you do the city horn, and you put on reverse, okay? And then you can start backing up. So make sure you check both the sides. Be very careful at this point once you're almost close to the, the trailer plate because you don't want to put the fifth wheel under the trailer fully okay you just want to like kind of touch it or you can just say you want to just kiss the lip of the trailer okay so that's good all right so you're going to put on neutral you put your brakes on okay and then you come outside and you tell the examiner all right sir my uh, my trailer height is good then you check your couplers to so make sure supply line coupler no crack no damage the rubber seals are good the tube looks good service line no connection no crack no damage looks good seal looks good uh, all my electric pins are there they're not missing no broken okay it looks good and then you go under the trailer and remember to say three things okay so you're gonna say my kingpin and my fifth wheel are lined up okay so which they are lined up uh, my kingpin no crack no damage okay and there is enough grease on the upper plate okay make sure you mention these three things okay and then you go outside and you tell the examiner so I'm ready to back up my tractor to the trailer and want to lock it okay. so you release the tractor brakes again and you put it on reverse and then you can go slowly slowly under the trailer okay go slowly slowly and and don't hit the gas too hard because you just want to lock it gradually there you go so my fifth wheel handle is in lock position right now what I need to do is I need to confirm it by doing a tuck test so I'm going to put on drive right now and I try to go forward two times so I'll give the gas and that's my gas number one all right so I didn't move I'll try again one more time Gas number two all right so it's not moving so that means 
my tuck test is successful. My tractor trailer is locked. And I come outside and I check for my fifth wheel handle, make sure the fifth wheel handle is in lock position. Okay, there is no gap between the fifth wheel and the upper plate or the trailer. And then you go under the trailer to make sure you check for my jaws. So the jaws are in lock position, okay? And then you're gonna put the airlines. So you're gonna put the airlines. So service to the service, make sure you put blue to blue. Don't put blue to red, okay? And then you put the electric line. And then you put supply line to supply well right here okay make sure all of them are connected properly and then at the end make sure you raise your landing gear up okay so you get the landing gear out from there put on the high gear and now you might have to do the anti-clockwise okay beautiful all right and then you put it back in this too and then you're going to tell the examiner so now i have to check my airline connections my supply line and my service line to do that i need to go inside the truck okay and and the very first thing i need to do is i tell the examiner sir i'm going to release my trailer supply valve which is the red one you can turn off your four ways right now if you want and you push the red one in okay and you check for the pressure to make sure the pressure is above 100 psi which it is okay and then you're going to turn off your engine okay and then you turn back your key on to make sure the pressure is still steady at 100 or over 100 psi i'm just checking to make sure my pressure is over 100 again yep so the pressure is good and then you come out halfway here okay and listen for a leak from the supply line I don't hear any leaks from the supply line, which is good, okay? Now you need to check the service line. To check the service line, you need to press the service brake off your tractor, which is your brake pedal. So you're gonna press and hold it, okay? Just press it and hold it. So I don't hear any air leak from the service line, which is good, okay? And then what you need to do is, once you're done with these two lines, check. You pull the trailer brakes back on again. All right, and then you can turn off the key if you want. And then you go at the back, and you tell the examiner so my airline connections are done now I need to check my two brakes okay for that I need to remove my wheel chocks so you go remove your wheel chocks okay So to check the two brakes, we'll go inside the truck, okay? And the examiner will come sit inside as well too at this point, okay? All right, so we're gonna start the engine again. All right, so I'm gonna crank the engine again, start it. All right, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check our service brake, which is our brake pedal, and then we're gonna check our trailer handrail which is our trailer brake here okay so to do that make sure your pressure is over 100 psi which it is i'm going to release both the brakes tractor and trailer both are pushed in and then i'm going to put on drive okay and then i'm going to make sure go slowly up give the gas all right so i'm moving 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 and i'm just going to press my brake pedal there you go i press the brake pedal so i stopped so you're going to tell the examiner so my service brake is working now I need to check my trailer brake, which is my trailer hand valve. So do the same thing. You pull forward and then pull it down. Boom. There you go. My trailer brakes are working. You can do it either way. You can actually hold it down and then give the gas or you can go forward and then give uh, put this one, uh, trailer brake down. Okay. So whichever way you prefer. Okay. So once you're done with this one, uh, if you want to check your trailer parking, because sometimes the examiner asks you to check the parking brakes as well. So let's say if you want to check the the tractor brakes first right so you put the tractor brakes on okay and release the trailer brakes okay so make sure the trailer brakes are pushed in and the tractor brakes are on so you put on drive okay and try to give the gas and see if it moves 
So you give the gas, it's now moving. All right, so that means my tractor parking brakes are working. Now you pull the trailer brakes on. All right, so that means your trailer brakes are work, uh, on right now and you're gonna release the tractor brakes. Again, you have it on drive, so you give the gas. You're trying to go forward, but trailer is not letting you, so that means trailer brakes are working. So that's how you check these two parking brakes as well. Too, okay, and that concludes your um, your parking brake check and your trailer brake and your uh, service brake check. So that concludes your uh, the full uh, uncoupling and coupling according to the MELT program uh, as up to my knowledge and that concludes everything. Thanks very much guys.